Happy New Year everyone. Congratulations, we made it to 2017. You see, today is just another day, the 1st of January. The difference between those who will succeed or achieve anything at the end of the year and the ones who won't achieve anything is the ones who take action. For you to take action, you need a direction. When you know exactly what you want to do, it is almost like a light that will direct you or guide you to exactly where you are going. For anyone to achieve any goal in life, you have to have the picture of exactly what you want to achieve in your mind first. So basically you have to have the picture of the end result of what you want in your mind before you can even achieve it. If you want to achieve anything, any goal at all, no matter what that goal is, you have to take action. There's a time to talk about it and there's time to start doing it. So there's something called wishful thinking. Wishful thinking will not get you anywhere. You could say, I want to lose weight. I want to save money. I want to write a book. I want to study this year. I want to take a new course, improve myself or develop myself. But if you don't go from that state of wishful thinking to actually taking action, you may not be able to do or achieve all of those things you are talking about. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited we made it to a brand new year. It's a brand new year, it's a brand new season, it's a brand new opportunity to do so many amazing things. One of the things that actually helped me to achieve all of my goals last year is that I had a vision I was running with. And the thing is when you have a vision, you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you want to do. When you have a vision, you run with it. Even though there may be challenges along the way, even though you may stumble, even though things may not be as uh, you plan, the thing is when you have a vision, you can run with it or you can run with them, then you start walking towards them, then eventually and you what achieve what I want to encourage you to do is to have a vision. What is a vision? Vision simply means something you can run with, something you cannot see, but you can visualize, something you can think about, something you can imagine, something you propose to do. That is a vision. Vision can also mean something God has said to you. Vision can, can mean something you've been thinking about a lot. Vision could be anything. Your vision could be to write a book. Your vision to be to go back to college. Your vision could be to save money. Your vision could be to lose weight. Your vision could be anything. So how do you run with your vision now that you know what your vision is? The second thing you should do is write the vision down. Write the vision down. When you have a vision and you write it down, all right, you basically can read what the vision is. Oh yes, I want to write a book. You've written it down. So the third step is how do I begin to do what I want to achieve? How do I achieve what I want to achieve? For example, if your vision is to save money and you've written it down, I want to save more money this year. I don't want to be broke this year. So how do you achieve this vision? For example, you have to say specifically when you write it down to say this year, every month, I want to save 100 euros. No matter what happens, I want to save 100 euros. So now that you know you want to save 100 euros, so how do you save 100 euros? Do you save it by direct debit? Do you save it by check? You must know exactly how you want to save the money. Number four is for you to be able to be realistic when you set these goals. So what I'm saying is this, for example, your wages is 400 euros weekly. So you know it will be unrealistic to save 400 euros weekly. It is not possible because you have bills to pay. So be realistic in your approach. What that means is you earn 400, you can't possibly save 400. 
that will be a lie. So be realistic. Is it 70 euros I can save conveniently? Then mark it down to save 70 euros every week. You know how you're going to save 70 euros. So no matter what happens, that 70 euros must go out of your wages. That is how to achieve your goals. And this same approach is applicable to all areas of life. No matter what you want to do, you have a vision, write it down, plan on how to achieve it specifically. So for you to be able to achieve anything, you have to have a vision that you will run with. When you have the vision, write it down. When you write it down, make steps for you to achieve the vision. And number four, be realistic about the vision. Also, as you continue to work on that vision, prayerfully handle it. Oh yes, God helped me to be able to achieve the, this vision. So God can give you clear understanding of exactly what you will do. It is applicable to every areas of life. Whether you want to lose weight, steps to take, to lose weight whether you want to start running exercising I want to exercise um, 15 minutes every day when do you want to do it I want to do it at 2 p.m. every day I want to do it at 5 a.m. every day you have to know specifically and once you make up your mind this is what you want to do you have to discipline yourself to do it that is number five discipline 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 is very important. It's possible for you to have this vision, write it down, take steps, make steps to achieve the vision. But if you're not disciplined, you may not be able to achieve it. For example, I want to write my book every five o'clock every day. I want to sit my bum down and write for one hour. Discipline. So when your duty comes on on telly, you want to switch up that telly and then go and sit down and write. This was the strategy I used to achieve my own goal of being an author. Every day I wrote a portion of my book, no matter what I was doing, and self-motivation and encouragement, you have to be able to psych yourself, oh yes, I don't want to do it today, but I still have to do it anyway. I know I want to achieve this thing. Self-motivation and encouragement to self. You psych yourself up, it works alongside with discipline. The last one I will share with you, you can get an accountability partner. So what that means is you get someone and you tell them what your vision is. Listen, my vision this year is for me to write a book. Please, I need to be accountable to myself first, but I need you to help me to be able to achieve this goal. So what that means is you've told somebody you really trust and respect, someone who can encourage you and push you to achieve this goal so every time you are slacking you can go to them say listen i'm not really feeling too good then they come back to you give it to you and tell you that no you have to do it no matter what they will encourage you they will pray with you they will advise you they will push you to achieve that goal so basically you need an accountability partner i may have not shared it before but for me to be able to achieve this goal of writing my own book, I got an accountability partner. <music> Number one, you have to have a vision to run with. Number two, you have right. to write your vision down. Get the vision, write it down. Number three, you have to set goals to achieve that vision. Number four, you have to be realistic in achieving the goal. Don't be too greedy. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. And number five, you have to be disciplined. You have to say, yes, I want to achieve it. I want to do it. I push yourself. Number six, you have to be self-motivated or you have to encourage yourself by yourself. All right? And finally, you can look for an accountability partner like a mentor or a coach or someone you really trust who can understand your vision. And that is one way to achieve your goal. So the year has just begun. If you don't have any plans now for this year yet, try and follow this approach. Get a pen and paper, get a special one and write it also like my vision book for 2017 or my purpose book for 2017 or my plan for 2017 anything you want to call it all right write it down and begin to work 
with that thing you've written down and also i want to encourage you if you don't know how to achieve any of these things you can get my book it's called use what you have all the details you need will be there in the description box it's called use what you have how to take your gift from potential to fulfill purpose it's going to help you it's going to help change your life i just want to thank you so much for watching this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up also feel free to share with your friends and family it's all free you can catch up with me on all my social media platforms i'm on facebook at mojin touch i'm on instagram at mojin touch i'm also on twitter at mojin touch and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below i love you so very much for watching and i'll speak to you soon on my next video. God bless and goodbye.